All right, so I've managed to fully get all my stuff packed up into my suitcases, hidden around because I do have to move out today and um, I'll be back tomorrow. What a weird twist. And I'm heading off to Marlowe today, seeing uh, what I can film there. If you've never been, it is the smallest freaking town. It is, it is the tiniest little thing on the Thames, right? I've been to Henley, beautiful place. Marlowe's like, if you took Henley and went, not small enough. So, headed there, uh, and then actually I think afterwards when I do come back here, uh, I need to head off to my storage unit. It is so stressful if you've ever been in the process of moving, having um, a majority of your stuff not like with you, you're like, oh, I hope I have everything I need. Uh, there is one thing I'm gonna be getting from there, which I think I'll explain more when we get there. <laughs> Without further ado, I guess, uh, let's go to Paddington. Oh God, my train's leaving in like a minute. Well, in classic Evan fashion, I didn't really pay attention too much to the trains. Trains are confusing. All right, supposedly I was supposed to get off at Slough. Uh, I'm in Reading. Lovely place. I'm gonna try and hop on a train to where I'm meant to go and then try not to get caught, I guess. It is such a cute and quaint little station though, isn't it? Like, this, this is Maidenhead. Now, look how small that is. You told me this was a train, but it's a pub. Autumn is here. I've already explored all of Marlowe. We've just been in three, sh how many shops have we been in? Four shops. I've seen all of Marlowe now, so uh, that's it. Uh, what, what would you rate this town? Um, 10, obviously. A 10? <laughs> 10 out of 100. <laughs> oh look, they even got a Sainsbury's. This is Chavi Homeware. <laughs> Fancy Homeware. Fancy Homeware. Literally, I think this is, this is the, uh, this is like the fifth interior design shop I've seen in Marlowe and there's no other shops. Hmm. I mean, that's not too bad for a, a door stop with a mouse. Or you can get Small Fairy Princess. <laughs> Only five pounds. Is this expensive? Who's supposed to fit in those doors? Not me, and <laughs> no. not you. I, I want to stand over there and uh, let's just see. Let, let's go, honey, I'm going to go home. I'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> the, the Marlow is a tiny town for tiny people. <laughs> Look, at it's so cute. But I'd be like, yep, I'm going to see you later. you got to be kidding me. It's another interior design shop. MKB Designs. This is uh, Marquez Brownlee's second business, third business, is bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms. So, Marlowe Riverside at the golden hour. Pretty, pretty lovely, actually. I've, uh, it's just this, at this point we left the riverside and we're just kind of walking along what seems to be a really narrow little path. Super adorable, actually. I've never had a real scotch egg. I've only had them at Sainsbury's, so I'm just excited to try this scotch egg. It's supposedly everyone's favorite food, but I rated it F tier in my video, so here, here we go. You've had multiple scotch eggs. Yeah, multiple scotch eggs. Do they have clover on them normally? This is, this is a scotch egg. Here we go. Mm. That was really nice. This, this Sainsbury scotch egg tastes like um, just a really dry piece of bread, whereas this is very moist and delicious, so thank you to the, the pub here. I usually just put music over this, so it kind of just makes it really nice cinematic. I say cinematic when I don't mean it. I can't imagine someone going to a cinema and being like, can you show me the Evan Edinger vlog, please? So you want to explain where you've taken me? Uh, I have taken you on a walk that's great in springtime for Bluebell, and I was like, let's do it in Arsenal. She only went and took me to the Bluebell Walk, a famous walk for Bluebells, in a different season. In autumn, it's, uh, it's still nice, still a nice time. Zooming in on your ass. Wow, look at all the Bluebell plants. Beautiful. 
they're no, they're the, they're right there. They're all they're, You just have to imagine. All right, finally, got out of the woods. Look at that big hilly view. Wow, Buckinghamshire sure is nice. No reaction. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Lovely little puppies. Come on, get on. Come on. Ah. Oh. oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, look at him. Come on, buddy. It's okay. So. So the question remains here, just had a chat with that lovely couple about, is this a hike? Would you class this as a hike? Essentially, the difference being in America, if I'm outside, I'm walking up a hill, I'm on a trail, this is a hike to me. But I think in England, they're more like, mm-mm. Heather says you need hiking boots. Hiking boots. It's, your... it's a walk. <laughs> it's a walk. Oh my God, look, we got a little sheep. Sheepy. What, what are you thinking? So, do you know any sheep puns? No. If you did, wool, you tell me any? There, there, there. sheep, sheep. <sighs> well, if there was an award for sheep puns, I would fleece the competition. Completely ram them full of sheep puns. I win. I beat you guys at all the puns. Mine. Wow, it's just a really lovely sight. Some pheasants over there. Oh, do you see them? Oh, there he goes. There's a female pheasant as well. They've got such beautiful colored plumage, the males. Oh, look at them run. So far on this walk, we've seen uh, some wild pheasants just fly across the path. We've seen some hares and we've seen some sheep. It's pretty nice. Out in the middle of Buckinghamshire, or well, bucks, as they say. I've never seen a deer in bucks though, have I? There he goes. Wow. Look how giant, I just saw like a massive mansion. So, oh, look at that one. There's, like, there's a giant mansion over there. I don't know what else to do. I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. And for all you city folk, we've got some slow berries. Take life more slow, make some gin. Wow, they look so nice. Well, uh, this has been an eventful day. I'm so hot, even though it's autumn, can't even see. It reminds me of literally a year ago when I first got this camera, I did a shoot in Wales, and it was just a nice hike along the Wales coast path here. Um, but yeah, it's been really lovely. I guess um, at this point we're heading back. I've got a party to go to in London. Feels like life is back to normal, kind of. Uh, and I got to pick up a lens to sell from my storage unit, so. It's pretty. I love how all the farms have the, this, like one, one tree all the time, just in the middle. You can get some shade. It's nice. Anyway, let's go. Oh my God. This place is scary. It's, I've nearly slipped. I did slip. I, oh, nearly just lost all the kit. Just completely almost fell off. The handrail was broken back there. Didn't, luckily I wasn't vlogging it because I probably would have tanked. I would have tanked. Oh. Putting the camera away. I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying Back to London. All right. Goodbye. Have a nice life. But I ain't got nothing left. So, yes, uh, as you can see, I've been living kind of out of the storage unit. This is where most of my livelihood has been for the last, it's now like coming up on three months. Never expected it uh, to need, need it for this long. Like all my life and belongings essentially are just kind of chilling here. I've got my piano. I've got my old like ladder for the behind the scene and the videos, all my clothes, printer, all, all that type of stuff. And I've, you know, I've just been living out of the suitcase mostly for the last two, three months. Um, luckily, once I got back to London for Liverpool, I was able to kind of visit here more often to be like, for instance, I just really missed this jacket and this hoodie. So I came back and I was like, I need it. Also, I think that this is quite funny. I've had this um, 
Woodford Reserve, not the best whiskey, but I basically just had this. It was full up to the top when we first moved everything in here, and I always had it, so every time I visit, I'll just take a big swig. <sighs> Nearly at the end of this, boy. Woo! Gotta save some for the final day. <laughs> but um, that's the current pace. Luckily, I don't have any moths. Uh, I've put, like, moth traps all over this place. Not a single dead moth, which is actually a good thing, because that means there are not any in here. Um, also, the reason I came here today oh, was my 7200 takes such insanely good photos. Like, it, it's beautiful. If you've never shot with the 7200, it's honestly some of the best. However, I'm actually training this in for the version 2 that had just recently got announced because the one reason I don't take this out as often as my 50 mil, which I take out all the time, is weight. This thing is like one and a half kilograms, and so it is hefty trying to take photos with it. The, the newer one is literally 50%, uh, sorry, 30% lighter. It's uh, about uh, just a bit over a kilogram, and I was like, oh my god, that's the only reason I don't use this more often. It has been in storage because I can only choose to bring a couple lenses with me to get shots. Very happy with my selection, but trading this boy in, basically. <sighs> All right, goodbye storage unit. Time to head off to a party, let's see. Oh, I really don't feel like getting my camera out of my backpack. Everything's so heavy. I've got the lens as well. Just a bit exhausted. It's been a crazy hikey day. So I'm just shooting this on my iPhone. I'm walking through my old stomping grounds. Just checked out the old house I lived in for four years. Obviously it's next door uh, to my uh, the old storage unit. And guess what? They tore down uh, the entire wall that split uh, Jamp's room from the living room as it should have been probably intended, but he, the landlord was trying to squeeze a little extra rent out. But uh, yeah, it's just interesting. Even after like a month, things are always changing. It's up for sale. And it's like, wow, things move on without you. Just get, try and get a little deep. Oh God, I'm so hot and sweaty. I cannot wait to bathe. Oh, hello there. It's very nice to be clean and uh, not full of mud. Uh, I spent the whole last, the whole weekend basically hiking. Just uploaded my new video, made a thumbnail for it. All good. I <sighs> cleaned up real well. Off to a party. How's, how's the party vibes? Party vibes are, 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 are on point. On point. Happy birthday. Yeah. All the, thank you very much. I'm 20 today. Oh, that was for Louis. Yeah, Louis? So Louis. Louis? Oh. Happy birthday, Louis. So nice to know you. Another Louis, just like me. Luke, what did you give us at that party? That was a great time. We've ended up here. I'm not happy with this accusation. <laughs> we're, we're now sky high from that lovely party. Thank you guys for uh, watching today's video from Marlowe slash London party. Um, if you're interested in knowing why the music in my videos always sounds nice, it's because I use uh, epidemic sound. Also, probably don't use a 50 mil lens to vlog on. <laughs> just heads. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out, uh, Epidemic Sound. I am an affiliate. Uh, I work with them and I've been using their music for five years. And Me too. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, I don't you, work with them, but I like their uh, music. <laughs> if you're a creator, I would highly recommend them only because it's like the best way to get music and sound effects for your YouTube channel. And um, of all the companies I work for, that one just makes the most sense because I use them all the time. Uh, yeah, so if you like the music, check my link in the description. Thanks, Epidemic. You've been... I was gonna say like epic, but that doesn't, epi epic. Epic Demi. You've been Demi epic. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, watch this other vlog on Luke's face, I've covered him. And then... Oh no, I'm a vlog. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>